This is the 90s on the 80s. I mean, this is the 90s on the 80s. Where millennials give an opinionated review on the classics. We're just here to talk trash about what old people like. Today, we're talking about Michael Jackson versus Prince. What do I think about when I hear Michael Jackson saying, you saw like that immediate smile? When you think music, the first thing that you think about is Michael Jackson. Shiny socks in the moonwalk. He's just so dreamy. His dance moves. Like basketball got Michael Jordan, GOAT. Rap got Tupac, GOAT. Singing, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson did a lot of his beats by mouth. He kept on reinventing himself and his music. Down, 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 down. <laughs> We had this VHS tape. The joint that you put in the, and you press play. We literally would watch that tape and dance and sing all day, every day. And I was sitting there for like hours just. My favorite Michael Jackson song. Rock My World. Can I say two? The way that he killed that joint with uh, Chris Tucker. Dirty Diana. It brought out a sexy side of Michael Jackson. Billy Jean, yeah. One day in your life, I wanna fuck with you. The lady in my life. It's just a beautiful song, you know? When I first saw Thriller, he was the first person to make a music video that you didn't even know was a music video until the music played. It was like watching a movie. Throughout the video, he was supposed to be like a zombie. It was just scary. You weren't scared at all? No. No. No, I wasn't scared. I mean, it was a little like, whoa. He puts his arm around the girl. He really is like a monster. So it's like, wait. I don't think there can be a Michael Jackson of today. I mean, ain't nobody no Michael Jackson, man. It is a very high toss up between Chris Brown and Usher. Even though I'm a hardcore Usher fan, I would have to say Chris Brown. Chris Brown. He has a great balance of being himself and still channeling his inner Michael. Rebel, purple person who's gonna do it his way. Pern, genius, pretty boys. It's really only one way to be, and that's yourself. And sex, can I talk about that? Can I say that? I think it's sophistication. Prince just didn't seem human to me. Even though he was wild, there was something about him that was like, I've arrived, I'm here, respect me. Prince taught us to embrace our emotional side. He was very feminine in a masculine way. He looked like he about four foot five. Prince is the only dude I know that owned everything. We gave him the name, the artist formerly known as Prince. He never changed his name to that. He literally just changed his name to a symbol. I would want to sit in a studio session with Prince and just chill. He was like probably one of the most shadiest artists there is. And just be a candle and just sit here like this. He played every single instrument. He was like no one else. My favorite Prince song ever is The Beautiful Ones. I would die for you. <sighs> I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you, I wasn't bumping Prince all the time. My favorite lyrics, I'm not your lover, I'm not your friend, I'm something you could never comprehend. Purple Rain was a, it's a classic. The movie and the song was just like, you know what I'm saying? It was funny just to see Prince acting and singing and dancing. That motorcycle was tough. And when he, what, he got stole off on and like flew. You <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my black card away, but I have not sat down and watched the entire Purple Rain movie. What? <laughs> you already know the answer that I'm gonna give to this, man. <sighs> the two socks and the black loafers. Yeah, they both gotta go. Definitely socks and loafers. I'll say the assless chaps. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Should I know? He was just singing and then you just turn around and you just see two like, Tone firm, but she. <laughs> oh! Oh. Prince could wear anything, makeup, wigs, and women just love them. I don't understand that. Only Prince can walk around with his ass out. My ass ain't finna be out, dog, like that. I couldn't pull that off. These days, probably <laughs> what Prince was wearing. <laughs> yes. No one's wearing thick white socks. <laughs> I would be Team Prince. That is such a hard question. <laughs> I gotta be Team Mike, man. I think everybody in this room has attempted the moonwalk at least 17 times. I was gonna say Prince. I have like a huge like mural on my wall of Michael Jackson. It's like a shrine. So I'm definitely Team Michael. It gotta be the greatest of all time. MJ, moonwalk, Jerry Curl, love, monkeys, Michael. That's it. Thank you.